YouTube. Today I would like to show you how I built the stable for my sheep in survival. It is fairly simple to build, and the only materials that I used were spruce wood and cobblestone. I think it looks quite nice in a farming or medieval town. Of course, you can use different blocks as long as they have the stair variant. There are eight stalls that each have enough room for several animals. I based the design on the sheep barn we had at my high school. Just the front of the stalls are covered and the back is left open. If you are playing on a server without protected claims, do not build this in or near a spruce forest because wolves will spawn and kill your sheep through the fence. I started with a 37 by 25 plot of flat dirt. The sheep need grass to regrow their wool, so make sure there is at least one grass block touching your dirt. Starting in the middle of the long side on the 19th block, place flat 5 logs. This will be the entrance of our stable. Skip the corner and place four logs going the other direction. We will do this four times, skipping a block between the sections on each side to mark our stalls. When you reach the other end, place five blocks to match up with the front. Repeat the same process on the other side. You should end up with the 7 by 21 rectangle. On the corners and in the gaps on the sides, we will need to build up beams that are five blocks tall. Do this all the way around. Now for the tricky part. Starting from one of the corners, count back four blocks and over one, and place a log. Line up with the next beam and place a log six blocks behind it. For the middle beam, place the log seven blocks behind it. There should be six dirt blocks between the beam and the post. We will make the last two mirror the first, six blocks behind the next beam, four blocks and over one behind the last. The points should form a gentle curve. Add two blocks to each post for a total of three high. And we will do the same thing on the other side. Back four and over one, back six, back seven, back six, back four and over one, and add two blocks to each. You can lay some cross beams in the floor if you would like. Now we can outline the roof using slabs. On one of the corner beams, place a slab on the outside, level with the top of your beam. Place a slab next to it and one below that. Stair step down until you reach the top of your post. To connect the posts, we will create a curve with the roof. The first section is two slabs, then three slabs, four slabs, and five slabs resting on the middle post. Finish the curve with four slabs, three 
three slabs. And two on the last post. Bring the roof up to the beam by stair stepping. Continue around the post the way we did on the other side with two slabs, three. Four, five, four, three, and two. To complete the roof outline, get on top of one of your corner beams and place a stair on the slab. Place an upside down stair next to it, stair on top, upside down stair, and a stair on top. Next to that, in the very middle of your build, place a block with a slab on top. Build up the other side. And you should have this shape. The rest of the roof will be the same as the outline. Fill in with a different material up until the next beam. I used slabs instead of upside down stairs on the wood parts to save time. Use cobblestone for the very top block and over the beams to break up the roof and make it look more interesting. If you build two of these, you will have a stall for each color of sheep. I like to keep mine organized, so it is easy to get specific colors for a project. Before, desi before deciding to build my own, I looked at quite a few other stable and sheep pen designs. I just couldn't find any that were a good fit for our town. Some were too large and fancy, others were too small and plain. I wanted to build something in the middle that resembled real-life sheep pens, but with a Minecraft flair. Personally, I spend a lot of time harvesting wool for pixel art, carpeting the castle, and hanging banners, so I end up looking at their stable more than most of my other buildings. Please bear with me while I finish the roof. Even at four times speed, it still takes a couple minutes.
and we are finally done with the roof. Now, connect one of the outside beams to the post with fences. Place six fences behind the post, and then a block with a slab on top behind that. Do the same for all your posts. You can make the pens larger or smaller by adjusting the length of fence here. Add fencing to the back to close up the pens. Of course, you'll need lighting to keep the monsters from spawning. Although I didn't do it here, you will want to add lights to the back of the stalls as well. Place two gates at the entrance of each stall. These stables would also work well with horses or llamas because the gates are too wide with three blocks of air above them so you can ride in without smacking your head. Now, keep on adding fences. We're almost done. The grass can grow under the fence, so do not worry if your pens are still bare dirt. Replace the floor if you want. I used bottom slabs to give some texture, but if you find the bobbing as you run over it annoying, certainly fill it in with solid blocks. I think dirt path or hay blocks also look quite nice. Lastly, you can add some cross beams along the ceiling for support. This should have been done at the beginning, but I didn't think of it until after I was finished building. Now you can fill your barn with whatever animals you want. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Thank you for watching.